Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel, Baddest and Intuitive Tarot. In today's reading, I'm taking a look into your romantic love life for the week of April 2023. Whether you're about to meet someone brand new in the next seven days or you're maintaining an existing connection, I'm gonna pull a seven card spread and get pretty nosy. Um, I'm gonna find out how this person that's coming towards you truly feels about you, how they see you and the connection overall, what the biggest blockage or challenge will be for you guys' connection this week, what their next actions are this week, your potential outcome this week, and your advice. Then I will clarify as needed to break it down to, you know, to what the situation entails, and yeah. Now, Capricorn, if you're in a recent no contact situation, where you and your person haven't been speaking much in the last few days, up to a couple of weeks or so, I will pull your person's hidden feelings at the end of the reading, kind of see what's going on in their head in regards to how they feel about the situation and if they plan to reach out this week, okay? I try to stay as present as possible in my reading, so this is for the recent no contact people. All right, so let's get to it. Spirit, what do we have for Capricorn today for the next seven days in their romantic love life? Who's coming towards them this week? How do they truly feel about Capricorn? What's the situation? And anything they should be aware of. Capricorn, love, April 2023. What do we have for them, please? Two more shuffles. One and two. Let's rock this deck for my beautiful Cappies. Okay, so this person's feelings for you this week, what will they be? We have the King of Cups. You could be connecting to a water sign, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. Does not have to be a water sign, but this person that's coming towards you is coming in with their heart open for you. All right, their heart is wide open. They're open to receiving love from you and also giving love to you. And they're also coming in very emotionally mature, right? They wanna do something um, in a very loving way, it feels like. What's their view of you this week? The Nine of Swords. You know, they may view you as being overly anxious about something, um, being a worry ward, or something about the connection is just not sitting right with you and you might be in your head a bit. What's their desired actions towards you this week? The Emperor, Major Conifer for Aries. So this is somebody that wants to step up in some regard. They're coming in with a lot of masculine energy. Regardless of gender, we all carry masculine and feminine energy. It's just telling me that this person is coming in really wanting to take the lead here really wanting to be like, hey, this is what's up, this is what I want, do you want the same things? Are we securing this relationship, yes or no? Because the emperor is the number four, which is all about laying down stable foundations, right? So this person's making a plan to take some sort of initiative, but they're looking at you as, you know, being kind of, you know, in your head about something whether they did something that didn't sit right by you or their actions haven't been matching their words lately and you're like, I'll believe it when I see it type of vibe. What's your feelings for this person? The four of wands, you want a relationship, you want marriage, you wanna move in with this person, you feel like you guys could really support a really beautiful life together is how you feel, right? This actually looks really good. Uh, what's the biggest blockage for you guys this week? The Ace of Pentacles, getting that opportunity off the ground. You see, the Ace of Pentacles is securing that that stable connection and then building off of it. You know, it's like laying a slab of concrete on the ground and then building a house on top of it, where it's meant to be sturdy and strong and not not gonna you know tumble down at the first argument that comes someone's way or some hot little number that comes by and gets the other person's attention or something like that. Rock solid relationship, right? So right now that's the blockage, all right? Because that stability may have not been created up to this point and with this person's desired actions towards you being the emperor is like, all right, this is time where we, we start to lay down those foundations together. This is where we are taking our future, to, you know, are we gonna be together or not? Is this when we start really securing everything? All right, and I'm seeing repeated fours. What's the potential outcome with this person in the next seven days? The Knight of Swords. So a lot of conversations are gonna be taking place. You guys are gonna be very communicative with each other. Uh, there's this energy of we either do this or we just leave it behind. You know, because the Knight of Swords is someone that's like ready to hop onto that train and go for a ride, doesn't want to sit around. It's, it's a very action-oriented energy, ready to go. And I'm getting a lot of masculine energy in this reading. What's your advice with this person? 
the Empress. Wow. So I got the Emperor and the Empress and the Four of Wands. That's pretty good. With your advice being the Empress, this is all about, you know, nurturing, allowing something to grow and expand and be what it could potentially be. You know, two people join in union wanting to spend their lives together and wanting to be supportive to one another. You're feeling like you guys could actually have that with the Four of Wands. This person already has their emotions open for you, but we need to get that Ace of Pentacles out of that challenge position. We need to move it. We need to take it from the challenge position and switch it to the outcome position, okay? And I'm gonna help. I'm gonna help, right? Because I'm gonna get nosy and start breaking things down and see what, why that is in the challenge position in the first place, right? What's the overall energy for you guys' connection? The Fool, Major Arcana for Aries. For some of you, this is a brand new person in your life, ready to start a journey with you in their life. And for others, you guys may be um, turning over a new leaf together. I mean, springtime is about renewal, right? You know, and uh, the Knight of Wands is here. I am seeing the Five of Swords trying to creep in. Don't let communication be you guys' downfall together because sometimes that Five of Swords can really sneak up on a relationship and cause what could be something beautiful, you know, go in a different direction. It's, it's, it's um, connected to Gemini energy and Gemini is ruled by Mercury, which controls communication. And we are in the pre-shadow period of Mercury retrograde where people could let, you know, you know, things that don't need to be an argument turn into an argument, okay? whether via text message, email, DM, phone call, in person. So let's break this down. All right, so I see um, three major arcanas. So this is going to be a, a very important week, it feels like. There's some sort of monumental change happening. So let's see. Why is this person's feelings for Capricorn, the King of Cups? Why is this person feeling the King of Cups for Capricorn, please? Why the King of Cups? Why the King of Cups? Ooh, the Three of Swords. They're heartbroken about something and related to you. Something was highlighted for this person. Ah, oh, the sun. And I'm looking at this emperor and there's a sun right behind his head. Something is being highlighted. And that could be why they're viewing you as being nervous. Hmm. This person wants to talk to you about something important before they, they agree to a relationship. Not saying that they have all the, the power or you have all the power, but there's something that is being seen clearly this week that someone wants to really talk about and have an open discussion about before they make a firm decision to take this Ace of Pentacles from the blockage to the outcome. It's like someone's got this um, love offer, this serious, very serious love offer that they want to give somebody, but they need some extra information before they release this offer. That's what it feels like. It's like this person may have caught wind of something that you were hiding or you weren't saying to them or vice versa. Somebody is feeling like something was highlighted and it needs to be dealt with before you guys can move forward in the relationship. It's like someone's not willing to move past this relationship and grow until something is resolved first. That's what I'm getting. And if it involves other people, it's like this person's wanting to come to you and say, hey Capricorn, are you still talking to your ex-boyfriend Joe? Or hey Capricorn, are you still talking to that, that chick that you met at the bar six months ago because I saw that you liked her, her Instagram photo on uh, Insta? You know, it, it's something like that where someone's got deep emotions and is open for love, but may want to get clarity on something involving another person or uh, involving something that is, will eventually break the relationship down further if it's not resolved now, right? For example, if you ignore something or sweep something under the rug, you know, eventually you can't sweep anything more under that rug because that rug is gonna get bumpier and bumpier to where no one can walk over it. You know, so it's like someone here, either you or this person doesn't want to sweep something under the rug, wants to deal with it right away. That way it's not going to turn into a bigger issue than it needs to be before they will commit. That's what I'm getting. 
it's like someone wants to commit to you, you want to commit to them, but they won't pull the trigger until something is cleared up. Like something is cleared up. I don't know what this is. Clarify this Three of Swords. What is this? Clarify this Three of Swords. And that's why the Knight of Swords is in the outcome position, which is open discussion. Someone wanting to be very chatty, very direct, and very, hey, I need to ask you this. Can you please answer my question? I'll answer any of your questions in return. That's the Knight of Swords. Someone doesn't want to be left behind. Someone doesn't want to leave somebody behind, but wants to get some answers first. Why the Three of Swords? 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 The Lovers, Gemini Energy. And the Death card, and the Judgment, and the King of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune, Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. It's strongly feeling like either this person or you. You're going to have to know your situation. All right, Capricorn, you'll know which side of the fence you lie on. Either you or this person is worried that there is still somebody lurking around from someone's past. Right? We have the Death card, and we have the Judgment card. Someone's either worried that someone is still entertaining their past, and thinking that they want to give it a second chance or there is something from someone's past that was very painful that they're allowing to influence the, the relationship currently, right? For example, say this person dealt with, you know, neglectful parents and never felt loved by their parents. Well, now as an adult, maybe they're very neglectful with their love for you and don't really realize that they're doing it on a, you know, subconscious level, right? Um, it's something like that because the judgment is all about releasing, releasing what no longer serves us so we can have a renewal in, in, in our life or in our relationships. And, you know, this Mercury retrograde is ruled by Venus. Okay. We're stepping into Taurus season, Taurus season, Taurus season. And with Mercury retrograde ruling Venus, it's going to be hitting home for partnerships, relationships, romantic relationships. Right? So I feel like um, Mercury retrograde this time around is really going to get people to really look at their relationships and ask themselves, am I getting what I want or do I need to walk away? Is this person who I need in my life or is this person just a filler for what I really need? Um, you know, what do I like about this person? What I don't like about this person? Because remember, the people we romantically link up with Capricorn are reflections of ourselves. They reflect back what we love about ourselves, but they also reflect what we don't love about ourselves, which triggers us at times. So there might be something about you that they don't like about themselves that's being highlighted at this time or something. There's something going on here. Oh, wow, this is getting kind of a deep here so let me just let that go and clarify why they're viewing you as the nine of swords and then i see the five of swords that five of swords is coming up on a lot of readings this week why is this person viewing capricorn as the nine of swords please why is capricorn's person viewing capricorn as the nine of swords two of swords now the two of swords is the you know energy of turning a blind eye to something, not making a decision and hopes that the decision never needs to be made or ignoring the truth in front of somebody, avoiding making a, a choice. Seven of Swords in reverse, the Fool, the Queen of Swords, and the Seven of Wands. So this person is viewing you as either catching them in a lie with the Seven of Swords in reverse or they're viewing you as being worried about you getting caught up in a lie and you're stressed out about it. Like you were hoping something would go away, like something would not be needing to be addressed. And I got the Queen of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Fool. Regardless of what's going on, you and this person do want a new beginning together. You both do see a lot of potential, but someone's not going to get past this point until it's talked about. All right, it's like you both are like, uh uh, I know we like each other, I know we want to be together, but we're not going to continue this relationship until this matter is addressed. And that's what I'm getting strongly, especially with that Queen of Swords. Because the Queen of Swords don't play. The Queen of Swords will throw a plate at your head if you're lying to her, you know, when she's in the reverse. But when she's in the upright position, she's very logical, she's very intelligent, she's very 
able to see both sides of a situation and gain different perspectives before making any final decisions. So you and this person are actively looking to have a deep discussion about the future of your relationship and lay everything on the table and talk about things that are being ignored, the pink elephant in the room, and also talk about the things that are being embraced. Someone's feeling backed into a corner having to speak up about something in order to have the ultimate um, goal here, which is each other. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the blockage? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the blockage? Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the blockage, please? Why the Ace of Pentacles in the blockage for Capricorn and this person in this week? The Page of Wands. Okay, the Page of Wands, when I read it in the blockage position, is someone being kind of like immature about something, someone not wanting to talk about in an adult conversation, like someone just wants to stay in a good mood and doesn't want to talk about any of the negative stuff. You know, it's that person that, you know, comes in, you know, wanting high vibes only when there's a serious conversation that needs to be addressed. That's the definition of toxic positivity, not wanting to deal with anything that makes someone feel uncomfortable. Whether that be you or this person, I gotta call everybody out. Or it's the both of you. You both are skirting around a very important conversation because you wanna keep the peace with each other. You don't wanna rock the boat. You don't wanna like, you know, do anything that could make you both look at each other and think, all right, maybe this isn't the best for us to be together, you know? And you see that cat's tail caught up in the flame. You know, you play with fire, you get burned. You play around with a certain conversation that needs to be addressed and then a situation becomes worse than it needs to be. Because you both want to be together, three of cups, nine of cups, but you know, this, this conversation needs to happen. You know, someone's wanting to say, well, are we gonna be together or not? Because you know, in order for us to be together, we need to talk about what needs to be addressed. We need to make plans together. We need to be on the same page. So this person's desired action towards you is to secure something with you. This person really wants you. Why the emperor? Why the emperor? Why the emperor? Why the emperor? The knight of swords. It's this person that's wanting to talk. And then I got the two of pentacles. They're weighing out the pros and cons here. And they're, they're, they're weighing out the pros of the relationship and also weighing out the cons. And they want to give you both the opportunity to address those cons to see if you guys can work around those cons um, to build a future together, okay? Why is the Knight of Swords the potential outcome this week? Now remember, this is for this week. Um, things could change next week, you know? Why the Knight of Swords for the outcome for this relationship between Capricorn and this person this week? The Four of Swords. You guys needing to, you know, get out of your heads, and take a moment to really clear your energy and clear your mind so that way you guys can have a calm conversation about what this is, all right? Because sometimes that four of swords can end up being um, people going on no contact for a few days, up to four weeks. But this person would like to work something out, three of pentacles. And then I got the strength card, Leo energy. Someone's showcasing a lot of strength during this time, really firm on their boundaries. Why is your advice the Empress? Why is the Empress Capricorn's advice? Why the Empress, that one wanted to come out. Four of Wands in reverse wanted to come out, okay? You know, if you don't feel like something is stable and support, or supportive, or if you don't feel like someone is like doing their part, you gotta do what's best for you. You gotta put your own needs first with the Empress energy, because you're able to create beautiful relationships anywhere you go with this Empress energy. She represents the number three, which is all about creating something. If you feel like you can't create it with this person, find it elsewhere, um, even if it's with just yourself, okay? Um, but let me get a card on that, because it came out in a weird way. Clarify that Empress, and that's Venus energy and it's Taurus, and this Mercury retrograde is Venus and Taurus. Why the Empress? Two of Swords, okay, and the Star. Do not turn a blind eye to certain conversations that need to be addressed, right? Don't hold it off for later. Two of Swords can be the energy of procrastinating because someone feels like they always have plenty of time, but after a while, time ticks up. Time ticks up? That doesn't make sense, rewind. Time's up if someone keeps on thinking that there's always tomorrow to talk about something. Because one day, that tomorrow, find, finds you with someone that either walked away or you walked away. If someone doesn't feel like their needs are being met. Why the fool has the overall energy? 
Page of Pentacles. That's secure offer. And then I got the devil and the four of cups on the bottom. Someone doesn't want, you know, something to become a missed opportunity and is very fixated on the worst case scenario. Or someone's worried that something is going to become a bigger issue later down the road. So, yeah, Capricorn, this person really wants to build a life with you. You want to build a life with them, but you guys really need to talk about a few things. There's something that you guys are not, you know, open to talking about right now because you both are trying to keep the peace. You guys don't want to talk about the, the ugly stuff or, you know, it's like I'm strongly getting somebody that's like, oh, can we talk about this tomorrow? We're having such a good day together. I just want to have fun and relax with you. And then another person's like, well, I mean, okay, well, let's have fun. But, you know, I do want to eventually get to this one time this week so we can, you know, talk about it before it turns into an argument, you know? I know we've been together in past lives. I recognize you. You were never a stranger to me. This is for my recent no contact people. I keep track of you from afar by looking you up online. So someone's watching somebody like a hawk. I couldn't handle my true feelings for you, so I kept you as a friend and nothing more. For somebody, someone here felt friend zoned by another person that they knew definitely had feelings for them. It's like, why would you friend zone me when you know you have friend feelings for me? I'm confused about what I should do about my feelings for you. Well, that just answered it. Capricorn, if someone friend zoned you or vice versa, it's because someone is having trouble handling their emotions for somebody. And I also strongly get someone's worried about someone's past interfering with the present. Okay. So you could be connecting with a Leo, a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, an Aries, Taurus, Libra, Gemini. Those are the main ones that want to come in the reading, Capricorn, but you could be dealing with any zodiac sign. All right, so I hope this reading helps. Uh, do rock that like and subscribe button for your girl. And if you like the book of private reading, the link to my website is in the description box below this video. FYI, there's someone pretending to be me on Instagram. That is not me. I am only active on YouTube, and you'll know it's me with the verified check mark next to my YouTube handle name. All right, so protect yourselves. All right, later, Gators.